Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I'm doing the, I think, fourth? Are we on the fourth installment of these diamond painting vlogs? Or are we only on the third? Oh my god, I have no idea. Um, but today we are doing the next installment of my diamond painting vlog series. Basically, I take you guys through a week of my diamond painting, and we talk about new releases for the week. If I get any packages in the mail, we go through those. Basically, just like a vlog full of fun diamond painting stuff. So, today I am starting you guys out. It is Tuesday, January 2nd. It's Tuesday, January 2nd, and so happy 2024, everybody. Um, it's absolutely crazy <laughs> that it's 2024, but um, today I have a few sneak peeks to show you guys from Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs, and I also have a fun little um, Randa's Crafty Corner haul. Um, but let's go through the first set of sneak peeks first, just because I'm already holding you guys like this. Um, but the first sneak peek we have is from Diamond Art Club, and it is called Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban um, by Warner Brothers. It took me a sec. I was like, W-B-E-I. Warner Brothers Entertainment Inc., I would assume. <laughs> Available in a 36 by 4 by 39 inch or a 67 by 99 centimeter. Square drills with 46 colors, including one AB and two of fairy dust. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, but you guys, the rendering on this is really, really great. Um, I think if you are a Harry Potter lover, you will absolutely like fall in love with this. Um, it's going to be a lot of dark colors and I'm wondering honestly how much like confetti versus color blocking this is going to be. It kind of looks like it might be a really big amount of confetti just by looking at like the rendering by like zooming in on it. Um, like there are a lot of little details in this picture, but for you Harry Potter lovers, I'm sure you guys are like super excited for this. Um, so that was the first sneak peek. And then we move on to Dreamer Designs and we have Riverside Mushroom Cottage by Sasha. This is a square drill kit, 60 by 80 centimeters, 66 colors with nine ABs, holy ABs. And okay, I have been seeing some talk about Dreamer Designs and their use of AI. Um, Sasha, I can say with probably 100% certainty is AI. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Is AI and um, I, I really, I'm very, I struggle still with AI because, you know, I've purchased Auclair Studio Girls and I don't know, maybe there is other artwork in my diamond painting collection that is AI and I just don't know it. Um, so I definitely struggle a little bit with with that, but I will admit that I really like this like little house. Um, I love the color scheme. I think it's really gorgeous. I think the rendering is great. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. I think it'll go on my wish list, um, but it's definitely not like a must have. Um, and then <laughs> Diamond Art Club just was like, hey guys, we just like randomly dropped this new diamond painting. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. They never do that. They never just like randomly drop diamond paintings without like giving a sneak peek first. Um, but I'm not sure if by the time this video goes up if it'll still be on the website or not. Um, I wonder how quickly it'll sell out. But this is Happy Holidays, I would assume by Peanuts. Um, I don't have an artist here. Um, brown shaped drills, 17 by 13 inch or 42.6 by 32.8 centimeter. Uh, six, eight, nine colors, <laughs> nine colors, including two ABs and one fairy dust. So it is just this really cute little peanuts, little artwork, very cute, lots of color blocking. I have a feeling this piece would work up pretty fast. It's actually kind of, it's big-ish, like it's not very big, it's not big really, but like it's big-ish considering I feel like it only has nine colors, so... That was just a fun little like random surprise drop that they had today. Um, and then the last sneak peek for the um, for the day is Cancer by Eau Claire Studio. Available in a 22 by 22 inch or a 55.8 by 55.8 centimeter square drills with 56 colors including four ABs, one electro, one iridescent, and two fairy dust. You guys, all of the special drills are in this kit and this is absolutely stunning and I should have realized that they were going to continue releasing these Eau Claire Studio Zodiacs. I just have a feeling that that's like their plan is to like release them over the next few weeks. Um, 
Oh my god, but you guys, she's a stunner. I really, really like her. Um, so, she's like, she's not a must. She's not a must. But I say this now. I say this now, and I never know where I am by Friday or Saturday. So, for now, she's a wish list, I think. She's a very pretty wish list, though. So, yeah, that is it for all of the new releases so far that we've seen sneak peeks for. Um, and then I also have a small little Randa's Crafty Corner putty haul for you guys. Um, I ordered Randa's Crafty Corner putty actually on like Thursday. Today's Tuesday. It came very, very fast. But I ordered five putties, which I understand is a lot. However, I ended up ordering... Um, let's see. I ordered the scent Cranberry. This is just how this looks. The scent Cranberry. And I ordered the scent Blueberry. Very, very nice smelling. And then, um, I also decided to do a mystery box where you don't know what three putties you're gonna get. And I just feel like I can never have enough putty. So, I ended up with Tootsie Roll. Very cute. Smells super good. Um, I got Cherry Blossom, which is also very smelly, very good, very good smelly. <laughs> and then I got Caramel Nut Muffin. So some pretty good scents in here. I'm pretty glad um, because I don't like, very specifically, I don't like the smell of oranges and I don't like the smell of coconut. So I'm glad I did not get either of those. Um, and then she also just threw in a cute little peppermint and a very adorable little Merry Christmas sticker. Not sure where this is gonna go. Um, maybe in my bullet journal in December, like <laughs> next December. Um, but I will definitely keep it in my little sticker stash for the future. But anyways, I will leave Randa's Crafty Corner linked down below for you guys. Um, if you're interested in purchasing some putty for her, I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I'm excited to give it a shot. Um, and I'm definitely tonight gonna give it a shot because you guys, Oh my god, last night I completely kitted down Springtime Splendor. I finished it yesterday. It's an absolute stunner, breathtaking kit. And then last night, then I was like, ooh, we're gonna go ahead and kit up Moon Girlfriends. That's what I did. And um, yeah, I'll give you guys a better look at it later. I'm actually gonna go hop in the shower and um, shower and everything. And then I am gonna probably put um, release papers on Moon Girlfriend. Um, and then... I'm gonna start diamond painting her because I have been waiting for this moment for like, I mean, two whole weeks, but like I've been waiting. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, I just got out of the shower and I just wanted to show you guys quick Moon Girlfriend and all of its glory before I go ahead and put release paper on it. And then over here, we just have my finished springtime splendor just sitting there. But you guys, let's get to release papering. Hi friends, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, January 3rd, and it is currently seven o'clock and I actually just got home. Um, I was in the home office all day and I got back around 6.30, hopped in the shower right away, got in my pajamas, and here I am. Um, I have three more sneak peeks to show you guys today, and I think these are some pretty good ones, so let's just get right on into the sneak peeks. For the first one, for Diamond Art Club, we have Color Explosion by Lola Gonzalez. This is a 20 by 22 inch, or a 50.7 by 55.8 centimeter, round drills with 58 colors, including three ABs and two fairy dust. We have been seeing so many of these flowers lately, I feel like. Um, I feel like there have been two two other flower releases. Plus, um, if you guys got the mystery box, some people did get a flower in their box from Lola Gonzalez. These are stunning flowers. Big flowers like these aren't my favorite thing to diamond paint, so I won't be picking this up. However, I know a lot of people love these and I'm so excited that they're releasing another. I feel like if you bought all of them and hung them near each other, That'd be stunning. Just like a gallery wall art of flowers. So stunning. But that is the first piece. And then moving on to Dreamer Designs, we have I Have Found the One by Jody Bergsma. This is a square drill kit in a 60 by 40 centimeter, um, which is significantly smaller, I feel like, than what they normally do. Um, 60 colors with, with only one AB. Wow, okay. <laughs> That took me by surprise. I'm like, one? Is that a one? That's a one, not a seven. Um, one AB. That's kind of crazy. But this is really adorable and the rendering is great. I think this is the perfect piece to do in a 60 by 40. Um, 
Honestly, this feels like something I would have expected a 60 by 80 out of, but if it works in a 60 by 40, then that's great. Um, it's really adorable ducks. Um, are those ducks or are those geese? Oh boy. If, if you guys have ever stuck around for my coloring videos, the amount of times I say, what animal is this? Is kind of astronomical. Um, but anyways, a very adorable painting, very muted colors. Um, again, just really, really cute. Um, and then the last sneak peek for the day is a Diamond Art Club, and we have Damaged by Enos Guerrero, available in a 22 by 33 inch, or a 55.8 by 83.8 centimeters, round drills with 43 colors, including three ABs and two fairy dust. You guys, I'm not normally a huge Enos Guerrero fan, um, which is interesting because I like Curtis Reykjavich, who, um, not publishes, who, I uh, publish could be the right word, but it's not. In this case, I don't think. Um, licenses licenses with um dreamer designs Enos Guerrero gives me a very similar vibe um and this artwork is stunning I'm like oh and I think it's the pinks I love it so I'm gonna put it on my wish list for sure for sure I swear to god if they come out with another Ivy Dolomore piece this week I will be happy because I have an Ivy Dolomore paint along event in May but also will be like my wallet just needs a breather but anyways anyways I know I could like have self-control but who who does that um but anyways you guys that is it for the sneak peek so far today um I'm sorry if this clip is like a little bit rushed I want to make some dinner here because it's already seven o'clock and I haven't eaten since lunch um, so I definitely need some food in my system and then the plan for tonight is to um, Probably diamond paint listen to my audiobook or something like that. Also you guys I um, last night started Reminders of him by Colleen Hoover and so far I'm enjoying it. It's super interesting and I'm very excited to see where this book goes. Um, I've heard I've heard mixed things about it. I personally I personally it please please do not leave me any hate in the comments. I do really like Colleen Hoover. Um, I really like her writing. Now, it's not like the best thing ever, right? Like it's, it's just writing. But writing does not have to be, what's the word? Writing does not need to be like perfection for it to be good. Colleen Hoover books are very easy reads, usually helps me get out of slumps. I'm gonna read this book and we're gonna enjoy it. So anyways, that's it you guys. I will chat with you guys later. Hello friends, happy Thursday. I am so tired. I feel like I'm always really tired after an office day, okay? And you know, that night or whatever. And then I'm always really also tired the next day. And I'm like, I, I don't know. And I like kind of woke up yesterday. Like, I don't know. I didn't go to bed till like 11, which is normal for me. But like when I was tired, you would think I'd go to bed earlier. No, the answer is no, I did not. Um, but I'm very, very tired, but we're here. We are going to talk about three more new releases for the weekend. Um, so let's get right on into it. First off, we have Diamond Art Club coming in with Fire and Ice by Cherry Gerdhart. Mystic Moon Media LLC, available in a 23.6 inch by 29.5 inch or a 60 by 75 centimeter. This is a square drill kit with 65 colors, including two ABs and three fairy dust and one iridescent. This is a really adorable piece. Um, this is just such a cute, like, little dragon. I'm assuming it's a dragon. I don't know. It has wings. I don't, I don't know. I'm really bad with mythical creatures. <laughs> the same way I'm bad with my animals. I'm bad with myth mythical creatures. But, um, I think it was in this video I had mentioned that. But it's super cute. It looks like the background could be a fair amount of color blocking. It's hard to tell, to be honest, with some, like, darkish backgrounds. Um, I feel like I thought Luna Moth Witch going in the background would be really color blocky and it ended up being a really a lot of confetti. So I'm not too sure but this is really adorable and I know a lot of people are really gonna love this. So that is the first sneak peek and then we are moving on into dreamer designs. We have Rejuvenation by Alyssa Carey. This is a square drill kit, 60 by 80 centimeters, 59 colors with six ABs. You simply cannot go wrong with a flower diamond painting. I just feel like that is a, like, classic, you know? But really adorable flowers. I love the color scheme of this one. I think it's really cool actually with the gray background and the like pinks and purple flowers. I think this is gonna be a really fun one for those of you guys who really like floral designs. 
Um, I, I'm personally like not the biggest, biggest fan of them, but this is a really great piece of artwork. I think a lot of people are really going to like it. And this honestly seems like a ton of confetti. So if you're into confetti, this might be a good one for you. But that was the Dreamer Designs. And then the last one we have for Diamond Art Club for today is Fortune Teller by Claudia McKin Mc McKinney. McKinney, not McKinley. McKinney, I've been watching too much Glee. Available in a 37.4 inch by 27.6 inch or a 95 by 70 centimeter. Square drills with 94 colors, including three ABs and four fairy dust. This is a beast and I love it. Um, it's uh, unfortunately, I feel like not something I'm going to pick up. Um, it's like I have so many big ones in my collection that if it's not like screaming my name, I probably, probably shouldn't get it. Um, but this one is really, really cute. And cat lovers out there, I feel like you're going to love it. I feel like there's so many cool things in this painting. There are a bunch of butterflies. There is a bird. There's a bunch of like witchy elements. This is just, this is really, really stunning. I feel like this is perfect for like a black cat lover. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys are planning on picking any of these up. Um, also that one had 94 colors. Like that's pretty high. Diamond Art Club has recently been releasing some kits here and there with a bunch of colors, um, like 90 and above. And I'm, I'm personally here for it. I love, I love that. I think that's so fun. I prefer more colors in a painting than too little but I mean obviously whatever it is it is but um yeah I have a couple in my collection that are pretty high color counts that I do want to do at some point soon um but anyways you guys I am home for the night I am not going anywhere tonight I'm pooped um so I'm just gonna stay home and relax um it's currently 4 30 basically I just got off work um I worked a little longer yesterday so I clocked out just a little bit early today um but yeah, I am going to sit here and probably watch a little bit of TikTok. And then I'm going to make myself some dinner. I have been thinking all about a grilled cheese because my mom got me some nice sourdough bread and a um, bowl of chili for the last, like, you know, all day. So, so I think that's what I'm going to have for dinner. It sounds really good. And then I plan on editing this vlog a little bit. Um, so that way I have less to do tomorrow. Um, because these vlogs go up on Saturday and yeah, that is my plan. Hi friends. Okay, so I just took a shower and now I'm sitting down with my diamond painting. I'm going to do a section or two and listen to more of my audiobook. I have an hour left of Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. So far, I would give it a five stars. Um, I think it's so, so good, but hopefully, hopefully the ending doesn't disappoint, but I don't think it will. I've like loved all of Abby Jimenez's books that I've read so far. Um, so I have like an hour left of it and I will keep you posted on my final rating. Hi guys, happy Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. It is Friday, January 5th. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Look what came in the mail today. We have Rose Library. Oh my goodness. Anyways, you guys, happy Friday. I forgot that yesterday I told you guys I was going to give you guys a little bit of like a book review um, after I read Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez because I was finishing it while diamond painting last night. You guys, then I like had like, I just, the night got so busy, but five stars. So good. 10 out of 10. Please read it. Please read anything by Abby Jimenez. It's so, so, I love her writing so much. Um, it's just, there's always like, there's always just like, it's just so good. And then but, <laughs> I'm like speaking from nothing, but like the books are always so good, but they always cover deeper topics too. Um, so trigger warning for part of your world, particularly for domestic abuse. Um, I believe the trigger warning is given at the beginning of the book. Um, just an FYI if you do go into it, trigger warning on that, but it was a super amazing story and I'm excited to read yours truly very, very soon. But anyways, you guys, um, let's go through the couple of sneak peeks we have so far for today. We only have two right now. And then after I finish this clip, I'm actually going to go to the library and um, return a couple books. And then I have a few holds. And then I'm going to go to my parents' house for the night. Not not like the full night for like <laughs> dinner. But um, let's get started. Diamond Art Club. We have Fly Fishing Legacy by Chuck Pinson. This is available in a 36.6 by 27.6 inch or a 93 by 70 centimeter. Square drills with 60 colors, including two ABs. So no like other special drills besides ABs. 
But I think this is a stunning landscape. Chuck Pinson just never fails with his landscapes. Um, I know a lot of people are diehard Chuck Pinson fans. I think this is just exceptional. And I know a lot of people are going to be really, really excited about this one. I'm honestly very curious where the two ABs are, especially because, like, only two of them know their special drills. Um, maybe there's, like, a white and a green. I don't know. I don't really know. But, um, yeah, this is really fun. And I know a lot of people love Chuck Pinson, so we have that sneak peek. And then moving on to Dreamer Designs, we have Euphoric Spectrum by Ivan Guadarama. I've never heard of that or heard of this um, artist before. That is a round drill kit, 60 by 60 centimeter or a 23.6 by 23.6 inch, 58 colors with five ABs and one crystal drill. This is so adorable, you guys. It's a golden retriever puppy with like paint, or well, not a puppy, I guess this probably isn't a puppy. It's probably like a full grown golden retriever, but with paint splatters all over. It's so cute. Um, oh my god, and the rendering looks so good. I was wondering if this would be a square or a round, but it's in round, and I don't know, I'm looking at the rendering and it looks like it'll work up pretty fine. Um, I always get a little bit nervous, like, with things with a little bit more detail. Like, obviously this doesn't have, like, a ton, a ton of detail, but it just gives me square vibes. But hey, if it works in round, it works in round. And you have five ABs and one crystal, which is always a good time. So yeah, those are the sneak peeks that we have so far for today. I suspect we'll have one more Diamond Art Club, and I think I can say this with pretty good confidence at this moment that I will not be purchasing this weekend because your girl's wallet needs needs a little bit of a week off. Um, and also, just as a quick side note, I made an Amazon Japan order um, a couple weeks ago or a week ago, and three out of the five books came. I don't normally buy from Amazon Japan. I always buy from Amazon Japan when um, the artist Ari comes out with new coloring books because she publishes about once a year and she does not sell um, any of her newer releases on Amazon US, which is really disappointing because you can find Romantic Country Volumes 1 and 2 both on Amazon US, but you can't find any of her others. Um, so once a year, I splurge on Amazon Japan and I get a few random books that just look good. So there will be a full video coming um, next week for you guys with flip throughs of the books. Hopefully I get the other two very, very soon. Otherwise, I don't really know, but just as a little sneak peek, I have that airy one. We have this cute little squirrel one love the images are adorable in this book um and but even more adorable is i got this disney book as well where the images are really really cute so i'm excited to flip through those for you guys um in a hopefully in a week but anyways you guys i hope everyone is having a fabulous friday and i'm gonna go to the library and maybe i'll give you guys a library haul actually when i get back so stay tuned hi friends okay so i'm currently back home and i basically went to the library i got four books which i'll show you guys at the very end of the video in case you guys don't want to see um but then i went to my parents house and i stubbed my toe while i was there and now my toe really hurts and i'm like that's awesome hurts to walk on that's great that's fantastic hopefully i assume it's not broken i assume it's not broken but like of course that would happen to me right but you guys we have one more sneak peek to talk about and i'm actually kind of excited about this one not because i plan on purchasing it but because i feel like this artist does not appear very much at diamond art club we see them more with dreamer designs but the final sneak peek we have here is it's about time by ciro marchetti available in a 27.6 by 40.2 inch or a 70 by 102 centimeter this is a square drill kit with 64 colors including four ab's and four fairy dust i actually there is some artwork by ciro marchetti that i love and i have i think two i think i only have two of his dreamer designs pieces and some that i'm like just kind of meant about like i can appreciate the artwork for sure but like not something i'd want to diamond paint um this one falls under the I wouldn't want a diamond painted category, but it is really cool. Um, so, and it's huge. Um, I'm actually going to watch the sneak peek video for it in a bit. Um, but no, this is really neat. And it actually looks like it has probably a fair bit of color blocking and confetti, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, this is super duper cool. And that was the last sneak peek that we have for the day. Um, I am really happy to say that I will not be purchasing this weekend. And... Yay! You know what? Like, it's probably for the best that there are no, like, must-haves this week. I am gonna put the Auclair Studio on my wish list. I'm sure I'll grab her eventually. Um, and then the 
Enos Guerrero one is a possibility for sure to grab eventually, um, but we'll see what I end up doing with that one. But yeah, I'm like pretty happy. I'm pretty happy that we don't have any must-haves this week, if I'm being completely honest. But um, now for a quick library haul before I end off this vlog. Um, I went to the library today and I picked up a couple of books and I'm wondering if my receipt tells me how much money I saved, because sometimes it does. Um, no, it doesn't. Oh, it tells me I have a hold ready for pickup, which is hilarious because I guess I didn't realize this was actually in. Um, so I checked my app when I got back to my parents and I'm like, oh, I missed grabbing one of my holds. So that's just an excuse to go back. I love going to the library. Um, anyways, so the first two books actually that I got are the first two books in the Heartstopper series by Alice o Osman. Osman, I'm not... I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I've heard nothing but good things about these, and I decided to scoop up the first two, um, because my library actually, I think, had, like, all four in, um, but I decided to get the first two, because I'm very excited. I've heard great things about these books. They're graphic novels. Um, I don't really know too, too much about them otherwise, but I'm very excited about them. I had checked the first one out of the library, like, over a year ago and never got to it, so excited to finally get to it, and then I decided to pick up um, Unnecessary Drama, Drama by Nina Kenwood. Um, this was in the YA section. I've been eyeballing it for a bit and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick it up. It's like less than 300 pages and I love a good quick romance. Um, so I'm excited about it. And then the last thing I got, oh my god. I cannot believe I'm gonna try this book again. But we have Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This is a book that I... <laughs> I tried reading this time last year and I was like this is far too long to be a romance why is it even this long I read it on my kindle I think I got like close to halfway and then I gave up so and then I googled the ending and I don't even remember what the ending was which is perfect that's great we're gonna try it again I've just heard such good things about the series and I really do love small town romances so I'm really hoping I'm hoping it doesn't you know end up <laughs> I mean, if I DNF it again, I DNF it again. Sometimes it's okay to DNF a book and then get back to it. No, it's always okay to DNF a book and then it's always okay if you wanna go back to it, absolutely. So, your little end of the video motivation. But anyways, you guys, I actually think I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I need to finish editing it and then scheduling it to go up tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm very excited to come back to you guys next week for another vlog. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!